ladies, and what a royal delight to be with you today. My name is Queen Esther. I'm the Queen of Persia, as you can see here. And you would know Persia as the modern day Iran. We are sitting here in my royal chambers, and it is a real privilege today for me to be sharing something of my own personal story with you. A story about when I was about your age with a few less wrinkles and how God used me for his great and wonderful purposes. And just as God has a very specific purpose for me, he has a specific and a beautiful purpose for each one of you. But before we get into that, I'm going to give you 10 seconds to call your parents while I have a sip of my Persian tea. And then we're going to cross over straight to Byron and friends for some adventures. See you now. now. Hey friends, guys, it's so cool to see you guys again. You guys have come just in time for an adventure because I am actually an explorer and we're gonna find a really cool treasure. So kids, come along and let's go and have a look. You guys are here again. Guys, I've been striving to find this treasure. I actually think I'm gonna start using a map. I'm gonna go find my Google Maps, because who else needs maps when you have Google Maps? Google Maps, show me the closest treasure that you can find me. Ding! Oh, a golden duck. <gasps> Kids, have you seen a golden duck? <coughs> hmm. I have very bad eyesight with this one eye, so I struggle quite a lot to find a duck. But now that I know it's a golden duck, I know what I'm looking for. Let's go! But, uh, hmm, still can't find that duck. Friends, I'm really struggling to find this duck. I think I'm going to start using some tools that explorers use. Let me look what I have in my bag. Hmm, we have a walkie-talkie. Let me ask a friend. Hello? Hello? Maybe I should put the antenna up. Hello? The walkie talkie's not working. Hmm, what else do we have in here? Oh, this is gonna help. This one makes me look super far. I think you pull this out. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I can't see it in that eye. Uh, I just see a red dot. That's weird. I think it's broken. Hmm, we'll use that one for another time. Well, let me carry on with my adventure. <sighs> wow, guys. There has been so many adventures that we've been doing, but this one has been the hardest one. I've gone over mountains, over hills, and I still cannot find the duck. It is hiding somewhere where I can't see it. So, I was given these glasses. Where are they? Where are they? Here they are. These x-ray glasses. Now apparently these x-ray glasses, when I wear them just like this, I can see through anything and I can find the duck. So let's see if that's possible. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, here are duck. Where are you duck? Hiding in the end of my bag. Oh, nowhere. Oh, I'm going to have to look in a different place. Yeah duck. Yeah duck. Yeah, duck. Oh my word, this duck is nowhere. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Is that an X marks a spot? That marks me where the duck is. Kids, you're gonna help me dig. Let's do this. Okay, let's have a look where it is. Yes! I found it! Woo! The golden duck, guys! We found the golden duck! Yeah! Woo! Hey, guys! That adventure was so cool! So cool! Did you see when Byron was like using all those different kinds of gadgets? He was using them all wrong! 
He tried to phone someone with a shoe. That's not how it works. But did you guys know that God has a purpose for every single one of us and he knows when to use us and how to use us. So if there's ever a situation where you feel useless, maybe you are going to be useful in a different way. So I hope you guys like this adventure and I can't wait to see you guys again next week. Wow guys, what a cool adventure. Guys, Peter is so right. We all have a purpose in his kingdom. No matter how old you are, even if you are four years old, five years old, you still have a purpose and a purpose in his kingdom. That is cool. And that's what we want to get through to you guys. So guys, I'm really excited for our adventures and we are so keen to see you next time on the adventures of Byron and Friends. So see you guys next time. Keeper of promises Your word is always true Healer of our brokenness Our hope is found in you Provider of our every need Abundant life you give Greatest name in history Forever it will be Keeper of promises Your word is always true Healer of our brokenness Our hope is found in you Provider of our every need Abundant life you give Greatest name in history Forever it will be your name we bless your name keeper of promises jesus we trust in you why would we hold anything back you're worthy of it all why would we hold anything back you are faithful we hold anything back Keeper of promises Jesus, we trust in you Maker of the galaxies Your breath inside our lungs Sustainer of the heavenlies Your spirit lives in us God of the miraculous Separate the seas, greatest name in history. Forever it will be your name. We bless your name, keeper of promises. Jesus, we trust in you. Why would we hold? life but you know I always say age is just a number you're never too old to have good old fun with friends and family and you know what we're also never too old to learn something new so today we are going to learn a new memory verse from Romans 8 verse 28 
And after that, we are going to go directly into the Bible story. And as I said, it's a very special story. Not only because it's my story, you know. It's a story about an amazing God who does amazing things through very ordinary people like you and me. If we only say, dare say yes to him. So let's go there. Go. And we know, say it with me, that... God makes everything work together for the good of those who love Him. Hooray! Let's say it one more time with me, Luz. And we know that God makes everything work together for the good of those who love him. Romans 8, 28. King Uhazuyus was the king of Persia. Many years earlier, when Cyrus was king, he sent some of God's people back to Judah to rebuild the temple in Jerusalem. Some of God's people stayed in Persia. God's people were called Jews because they were from Judah. The king of Persia chose Esther to be his queen. Esther didn't tell the king that she was a Jew. One day, Mordecai heard that Haman, an important leader who worked for the king, was planning to kill all of the Jews. Mordecai was understandably upset. He was a Jew and he didn't want all of the people he loved to be killed. Oh no! What are we going to do? Mordecai and all the Jews cried. Esther didn't know what was wrong. She sent a messenger to ask Mordecai why all of the Jews were so upset. Mordecai told Esther about Haman's evil plan. You have to do something, Mordecai said. Ask the king to stop Haman. Ask him to save the Jewish people. Esther sent a message back to Mordecai. No one can approach the king unless the king calls for that person first. The punishment is death. Unless the king holds his scepter out, then you may live. You're a Jew, Mordecai said. If you don't stop Haman, he will kill you too. Maybe this is why you are the queen. Maybe God put Esther in the palace to save her people. Esther asked Mordecai and the Jews to fast for three days. Then Esther would go to the king, even if it meant she might die. Oh, I'm so very nervous. What if the king puts me to death for approaching him without being summoned? Oh! On the third day, Esther went to the king. He saw Esther and held out his golden scepter. Shoo! What is it, Queen Esther? the king asked. What do you want to ask me? I will give you anything. Up! To half of my kingdom. Esther said, Would you and Haman come to a feast? So Haman and the king went to Esther's feast. After eating, the king said, What do you want, Queen Esther? I will give you anything, up to half of my kingdom. Come to my feast tomorrow, Esther said. The king agreed, and the next day, Haman and the king went to Esther's feast. After eating, the king said again, What do you want, Queen Esther? I will give you anything, up to half of my kingdom. Esther spoke up, There is a plan to kill me and my people. The king replied, Who is responsible for this plan? This evil enemy is 
Kerman, Esther said. The king was angry. He punished Haman and made a law to keep the Jewish people safe from their enemies. Hello, boys and girls. Oh, wasn't that a wonderful story? And it taught us that God was in control over Haman's evil plan to destroy the Jews. Like Haman, Satan wants to ruin God's plan and destroy believers, just like you and me. Satan thought he had won when Jesus died on the cross. But God raised Jesus from the dead and defeated Satan once and for all. Woohoo! All who believe in Jesus are rescued from sin and death. Oh, I'm so glad that I believe in Jesus. Aren't you? Oh, I do love that story. You know, people often say to me, Esther, you were so brave, so courageous to speak to the king like that. But little do they know, it's not me who's brave and courageous, but Jesus who lives inside my heart, who is very brave and very courageous. And so when he asks me to do something or to say something, even though it's a little scary, I can trust that he will help me. He will do through me. He will speak through me. Now, boys and girls, remember last week we said that this wonderful Jesus, this great King is coming back one day. And on that day, we are going to have the most magnificent party with the best of things to eat and to drink. But in the meanwhile, he's got some things for us to do. He wants us to love the world around us, to show them what Jesus is like, and even tell people to invite Jesus into their hearts. And so each one of you has a great God-given purpose, a reason to be alive at this point in time, on this earth, in the very town in which you are in right now. You were born for such a time as this, to know God and make him known to all those around you. Now, I'm very sad to say that we've come to the end of our video. I have some queenly duties that I unfortunately need to attend to. But before we go, parents and children, I want to remind you, and if your parents forget, you remind them of the digital packs. And the idea is really, today was just a little bit of a trailer. But if you want to hear more about this story and want to discuss it with your parents, children, why don't you remind your parents during the week to go with you through the digital packs. And now we're coming to the grand finale. And we're going to worship this wonderful and good God of ours who has such amazing plans and purposes for us. And come say with me, the member of this, who works everything together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purposes. So bye-bye now. Royal wave, everybody. Royal wave. See you next time. Bye.
those who love you, for those who trust you. Thank you, God, that we know you in control. You will never let us go. You have our hearts in your hands. Thank you, God. We trust you. We trust you with our hearts and we trust you with our lives. We love you, God. We love you, Jesus. Thank you for everything you have done for us and everything you are still going to do.